Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Shola Matthew. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install WordPress and it shouldn't take you more than um, five minutes to install. And one of the reasons you might consider to install WordPress locally is um, maybe you want to learn how to build websites, you know, without necessarily paying for hosting or domain name before you can build the website, or you just want to build your website offline, then later on, upload it um, online basically whatever reason that you've decided to you know install WordPress locally for I in this video I'm gonna teach you how to install the WordPress locally and we're gonna be using MacBook all right how to install it on MacBook but it's pretty the same process uh, maybe in Windows as well let's get started so the first step you want to do is to go to this website called map.info, right? And you will be able to download this software and it's actually totally free. It's also available in Windows. So I'm going to download the one for the MacBook, which is my own, um, you know, laptop. So uh, you just click on this free download and it's just going to download for you so I mean it will bring you to this page right so when it brings you to this page what you need to do is for example choose the version that you want to install so say for instance your own version of um, you know MacBook is this which that is the one I currently use and yours might be you know um, the Apple M1 um, processor above or if you are using a um, if you're using Windows right you can then download this so i'll just click on this and then i will download this by the way i've already downloaded this so not to waste our time i've already downloaded this but if you click on save you know you'll be able to download yours so the next thing you want to do is to go to wordpress.org slash downloads but if you go to wordpress.com it's gonna you know tell you all the things that you need but well, just click on this get wordpress so once you click on get wordpress it's going to bring you to wordpress.org slash download and once you get here right you can then click on download wordpress 6.22 you know depending on where you when you're watching this video you know this is the latest version of wordpress as of now so you just click on download and it's going to you know start downloading so i'm just gonna you know download it on my desktop so um why that is downloading let's quickly go install um the map right let's go ahead and install it so i'm just gonna go to my desktop here and then you will see um this is the map this is the way it's gonna look so i'll just double click on it and then um it will bring the option to install so you just click on continue it's pretty easy to install so just click on continue um, continue so you're gonna have to agree to their terms and conditions so you just click on agree and then you know this is you, you require like about 1.74 gig of space on your computer to install just click on um, continue and then you put in your password of your laptop and then you click on install software right so um, it's it's going to be pretty you know download i mean it's going to be pretty install in a short while it shouldn't take um a lot of time to install right so why that is installing so i'm just going to drag it to the side and then you see this wordpress right what you need to do is actually to double click on it once you double click on it it's going to open the folder because as you can see this one is um is in the zip Folder. so it's going to expand I mean it's going to open and then you will see a folder that looks like this and so the folder is what we will then use to build the webs I mean to install right on the maps so I am just gonna wait for this to finish installing right so once it finished installing then we can then um, you know go ahead with the video so let's just wait to see how it will install all right so we can see that it's already now installed so what you want to do is just click on close right 
so um, after it's installed you want to go open your um, you know the folder where you have your application so in this sense I'm just gonna click on find for finder and then I will go to applications so once you go to applications then you look for the maps you know um, this is the folder so if you just double click on it for windows it's going to also be somewhere you know almost the same thing maybe in your installation folder so just double click on it and then you see we have some um, folders and information here so what you want to do is you see this particular ht docs right that is something that you would need so what you want to do is to click on double click on that and then you see this particular you know uh wordpress folder that we've created right you want to drag that and drag it there so uh sorry i just opened that so you just drag it and then put it inside this ht docs because the um your the maps is actually going to need that in order to call up wordpress whenever you are running the application so once that is done go back to maps you know this is the maps then you you know um, open it so I'll just double click on it so it's gonna open as you can see it's trying to launch here so let me just you know minimize this particular one so let's see what happens so it's going to open right so once it's open we can then um, go ahead with all the settings right so this you know it will bring you all of this um, you know pop-ups just click you know just cancel that so what you want to do next is to click on start okay so you start the server basically um, so once you see start I mean once you see stop it means that it has started all right so the next thing you want to do is to click on this web start all right so click on web start so once you click on web start it's going to load a web page like it it means that the server is already running it's already working okay so um and then you just scroll down so once you scroll down you're going to come to this place where you see um my sq right so just click on it so you need to remember this particular username and password which is very really simple it's just root and root but before that click on this php my admin right because wordpress is actually run on php so you just click on php uh, my admin and once it finished loading just go to what you want to do now is to create a database all right and then click on this database it's very simple actually you see the step <laughs> that you need most is what i'm going to show you i'm trying to show you now so just click on database and then in this database just name it wordpress so once you do that just click on create all right and that is all you need in this um area for now all right so once you do that just close that so once you close that what you need to do is go to local dirt local column 8888 slash wordpress so just make sure that you had you add wordpress there and then click on enter So what you're gonna see next is WordPress is gonna bring um, you know its installation process. Okay, so what we're gonna do is to choose the language we want our WordPress to be in. So I'll just leave it at English United States, and then I click on continue. And you see it says welcome to WordPress. Before getting started, you need to know the following items. So. Um, what you need to do is just click on let's go okay so remember that i told you to remember the password and username here right which is root and root okay and the database that we created is wordpress so uh the wordpress is it's wordpress so we can just leave it at wordpress that's the database name you can this username remember it's what root right 
you root and root so we go to root and then root and then you can decide to just leave these the way they are all right and just click on submit so it says all right sparky you've made it through this part of the installation wordpress can now communicate with your database if you are ready time now to run the installation so we just click on run the installation and you see it's pretty simple so here is where you put the name of your um wordpress so i'm just gonna say my wordpress site or just to give it so i could here it's this username doesn't have to be that root again the root it's for the server right so here i can just name it maybe shola matthew and then this password you can you know just make it something very very simple so i'm just gonna say um user one two three okay user one two three and um you want to ensure that actually this is just for practice sake right so you can make your password very strong as you like or i can hide it and just type in my password now so you see it's actually strong right now so here is where you put your email so i'm just gonna put um i'm just gonna put my email here and then you could decide to say discourage search engine all right but um from indexing this side but i'll just leave it like that and just click on install wordpress right so it's already installed now and you can see it says um username and then the password is the password that you have chosen so you go to um login and then you can log into wordpress so this is where you put the username and then you put your password and then you click on login so congratulations you now have your wordpress fully installed on your laptop as you can see this is not connected to internet it's just on my laptop so if you go to uh if you you know go to this place where you have this wordpress site and then you open it in another tab then it will lead you to you know um the front end of your wordpress website or if you just go to local dot i mean local uh column 8888 slash wordpress is just going to bring you here so from here whatever you want to do you know design you can easily design them here uh, if you want to for example upload a team you can go to teams and then upload the team that you want or if you want to do any design offline you can do it for example one of the you know use case for this could be that maybe you belong to an affiliate marketing platform and they require you to provide a landing page you can you don't need to create a website you know online to do that just come here create the landing page download it and send it to the affiliate marketing platform so it's very easy um i hope you find this you know tutorial super useful and easy if you have any question please drop it in the comment section and i'll be so happy to read from you right before you go please subscribe to this channel uh, and turn up notifications so that anytime i post video tutorials like this um you get to know because very soon i'll be posting tutorial on how to build websites you know using this particular offline uh, or um, locally installed wordpress so subscribe and turn on notification so that you don't miss out on that and please like this video and share it with your friends um, so that they can also learn how to install wordpress locally i look forward to seeing you on the other videos bye